<laughs> told me that he slow cooked a pregnant woman and that the fetus inside was the most tender meat he'd ever had. Are we Dude, live? Okay, we've spoken about this, but if you had to eat a human being... He would. He's done it before. What I part bet. would you eat? How much of it do I have to eat? Most of it. I reckon like 500 grams. 500 grams He'd of go human. tit. Matt's tit. Nah. Uh, tit or ass of a, of a very, you know, 10 out of 10. Really? I'd go inside thigh. I'd probably maybe go like something real young because it's like lamb, you know, lamb's delicious. Maybe young human is also delicious mm. and I'd get the ribs of a baby. I feel that. Can you have old lambs? They're sheep. Really? <laughs> <laughs> Bullshit. I thought they were separate animals. <laughs> no, you did not. <laughs> what the fuck? You did not think the lambs- I seriously <laughs> thought that they were two separate animals. I never knew that they were the same. That's You're bullshit. fucking with us. I'm not even joking. So a lamb is just a baby sheep. Is that what you're yes. saying? Yes, I a lamb is that. a baby sheep. I thought lambs were like a species. <laughs> so you thought they'd just grow up like that and then die? You're a loser. Yeah, yeah I don't know. Well, Coming I mean, in wool, man. People would love lamb, but I thought like, what are old lambs? Mutton. Mutton. <laughs> What's a mutt? Mutton's like, a like fat sheep, isn't it? Yeah, I don't know. I had, I ate mutton in Mongolia. You it was weird. <laughs> That's a gross sentence. <laughs> I ate mutton in Mongolia. I'm gonna, oh, I'm, gonna I'm gonna tweet that right now. <laughs> I, I, that. I I'm mutton gonna tweet in that Mongolia. right now. Follow us on Twitter, man. We put some crazy worked up fireworks on there, cunt. Fuck off. <laughs> I ate mutton. Yeah, with a meal. In Mongolia with a meal. <laughs> hashtag Twitter, hashtag Matt Brown said what? Um, <laughs> I've got a massive bone to pick with you two. Fuck you, man. Why? You guys upset me today. Oh, I Matt, reckon. Come on. Let's talk about the the meth. Are we seriously going to do that? No. Why? Yeah, no. What do you mean? You, you fucked with me. Let's too not much talk today. about that because you will be doing it. But there's no point in yeah, talking, spooking him off before we yeah, do it on the boys. You trip. need to um. You need to not talk about the meth yeah, until the day before. Roll it, roll it out. We we bring the meth and the money. To the boys trip We don't speak another word of it And then we Bring it out When he's drunk Oh wow well, You're right Mum That's a great idea Mum Mum If you're watching I'm, I'm not gonna do math Yes Matt You can't say that Cause you don't know Yeah anyway, well, oh, What about Me What about Instead of When we have The three Matt Brown Bachelor things That were not Anyway We Get them to smoke meth together. You all oh, smoke meth. We yeah. have a fucking you hot box four a, way meth. You hot box a car with meth smoke. Do you hot? Can you hot box meth? Is that a thing? <laughs> I yeah, I reckon you could. A meth hot um, box. <laughs> well, you know, not the hot box, but I reckon we'll see if you can all do it together. <laughs> I'm not feeling. It. We should stop talking about that. Anyway, right. we'll bring it. Out Michael's later. birthday on the weekend, and let me tell you, man, we we went and out got wild. <laughs> Remember what happened, everybody? Oh, you proposed again. Me, we went to a karaoke place, random karaoke place. We had a few drinks, had some fucking food, and then me and Michael's girlfriend Amber got up to sing a song, <laughs> Waterloo, <laughs> which I don't know very well. So we're just screaming yeah. it. Well, you thought you knew it. And then after, I just um, proposed, fake proposed to Monique. Again, in front of the whole restaurant, and everyone thought they thought a lot of people thought it was real. Monique said that a whole table of women were like, "Oh, show me your ring, show me your ring, show me your ring." Dude, did you did you hear the dude after the song finishes that yells out, "This is shit"? <laughs> <laughs> I, I thought that was, hear that? I thought no. that was one of you guys. No, good. no, that was a oh, real okay, human well, that really being. Hurts my feelings then. <laughs> <laughs> no, but it was shit. I was just screaming the oh, whole time. Oh, it was funny. It was like but I thought you knew the words, and then no, you went up there. And you it think just... you do because you hear the song Waterloo, and you think, "Oh, yeah, I know that song," but I only know Waterloo. That's it. What the fuck is with that song? What's Who the line after Waterloo? Waterloo? What's the line What's after Waterloo? What does Waterloo mean? I'm a baby. Waterloo. You see, you're mumbling yeah, shit. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, you don't know it. No hey, one what, knows what, it. What's Waterloo mean? It's like a. Isn't it like a place? A toilet, in, like a isn't house? it a place in England? Yeah. Waterloo? I don't know. 
I don't. Well, whatever it is. Fuck you. <laughs> oh, Abba. Fuck you, Abba. <laughs> <laughs> oh, something's fishy. Something is a bit off. Um. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, we had a fucking fun night out. What else happened then? Uh, we gambled a bit. Don't. <laughs> Michael's got little are fire they gonna, firecrackers next are they to him. Gonna, he's throwing them at you map. know there's rocks in them. <laughs> <laughs> they, they explode. They're little rocks. Yeah, little yeah, rocks. I'm scared Chinese you're going to. I'm scared you're going to damage things. Anyway, that like was you our, damaged the couch. That was our uh, weekend. Sorry. Okay. Um, what else do we need to talk about in shit talk? Give me one fucking second. All right. God, dickheads. Am I allowed to talk about how you prank me? Oh, yeah, yeah. Go on. Oh, then, Matt. this is what oh, Matt thinks is what be mentioned mentioned about. It's fine. <laughs> it was upsetting for me. You this, guys didn't live it. But you you were like a test dummy for the new type of prank call we're going to do later. We got a new style coming. It's yeah, yeah, fucked. Gonna, I don't want to be a part of it. We're going to prank call some of our friends and we're going to try and convince them that something horrific has happened. People say, you know, like the boy cry wolf. You know, remember when you were a kid and your mum's like, don't say that. Like, don't make up things. My mum like, my mom never said that to me. What's like the German term for the boy who cries? <laughs> oh, that what's okay. That's not normal. But yeah. So I reckon a new trend should be start like just spreading like... To, like I remember one time I called up Matt and had convinced him that Marty had died in, or no not died was in a massive car accident <laughs> before a podcast wasn't it oh man <laughs> one Michael time does it for fun yeah if everyone starts doing it then it'll be normal and it, everyone will be crying wolf it's fun it's horrible so they called me today and said Michael had injured himself while filming a video <laughs> and said that they he had split his lip <laughs> so badly that it went right down the middle and it was like open and his teeth were broken. <laughs> and they got all concerned and then he came here and we said- I called it, but then ya? they just wouldn't give up on the joke. And then you had James involved as well, which made it so much James more believable. James is very believable. And then we had a video sort of set up for it because it looks like I set up to hit the golf ball, which hit me in the mouth, we said, into a wall. Then I swing and I even hear you go- <gasps> Yeah, because it I, was so good. Oh, yeah. and then anyway, should we? It's a good prank. Should we um, put the f fake proposal and the karaoke song in this podcast at the end or something? Yeah, why not? Was it too shit? Let's just ask him. Should we? We put it on next oh, week. Everyone to see. It. Everyone will want to see it. Do you it's, <laughs> it's worthy. Maybe I just guess. put it. Maybe just put it in the group for a bit of fun. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, it's not. It's definitely not worthy of a post standalone post. Oh, it. Oh. It, oh. It was oh, very good. Oh, oh, what did okay. you guys think of the okay. food? Shit. I didn't touch one trash. item of food. So shiny. It looked like silver gold. Yeah. It looked really? like plastic. <clears throat> Sorry, anyway. guys. Anyway, um, before we continue, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, okay? We've been grinding away now for four years. Do you understand? YouTube, there's other influencers. Who, they sell podcasts, and they go fucking bang straight away because Spotify shows them to everyone. YouTube says, oh, look at this. Here, I'll put you in your recommendations. We get none of that. We, we have ground this up from demonetized nothing foundation to a fucking small little building of, full of freaks a community of freaks so if you are a part of this community please like comment and subscribe not to mention if you comment any fucking comment any random old comment it can be a letter a number a full stop whatever you want could win one thousand dollars at the end of the season one one thousand dollars i've noticed the comments have been going up you guys have been commenting hard fucking keep it go mm. fucking going baby you like seeing that shit baby <laughs> yeah so comment as much as you get the more you comment the more chance you have of winning the thousand dollars at the end of the year, and Matt Brown will do math. Matt Brown will do math. Do you reckon I'm my head's floating now because I've got a greenish? No, shirt. no, I've worn green before. Matthew, I, I saw some comments, people calling Matt m instead of Matthew, Matthew. Yeah, but that was very funny. Well, there is, I think, comes down to the cow comment later, which includes. There was a uh, very funny comment. On. The oh. mad amphetamine you're talking about. <laughs> uh, I really enjoyed that there one. There was one, I was remember being high last night and looking through the comments, there was one really funny one, but I forget, I replied to it before you started replying. Maybe you've seen it, Brown. No, I didn't see it. Damn it. Anyway, very funny. Love reading the comments on the fucking podcast. Some of you boys are fucking hilarious. Yeah, I do get a girl. Some of the girls. The girls are, are ruthless. Excuse me, Matt. Sorry. You lust-filled sex numb? 
We have a good Bachelor Brown plan today. First of its kind, new sort of thing. It's going to be good. It's the what do you mean first of its kind? <laughs> it's the first of its kind ever. No, that means no you're one's fucking going to change something and I don't like the sound of it. It's, they're here. Let's just say that here? it's physical. No, no. <laughs> I don't want anything physical. Okay, it might not be physical. I'll we'll leave. See. Yeah, okay, it's not physical. Stay. But Dude. it's different and I reckon you're going to like it. Also, um, look. What's in my toilet? Oh yeah, oh, yeah. we put something in Matt's toilet before he got it. Go on, go on. We said don't look at it, but go on, go and have a look now. It's nothing crazy. You pull it out, you sit on your lap. Come on, quick, quickly. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Matt is standing up. Oh Matt Brown. He's turning around. Hit him. <laughs> you fucking cunt. <laughs> Hit him a bit. <laughs> He's opening the lid. <gasps> oh, it's a baby with Down syndrome doll toy that you can get from Kmart now. Anyway. Why don't you show it? Okay. Yeah, it's a Down syndrome toy doll from Kmart. They have that now. Anyway. We should name it. Anyway, speaking of that, let's move on to our sponsors. We don't have Nord this week because um, they only doing two a month, so and that's fine. Nord. Respectful handshake there, mate. That's no worries, all right? Anyways, uh, fucking manscaped.com. Oh. Holy shit. Not only are these cunts got the best male grooming shit that you've ever fucking seen, you dumb dogs. These guys are fucking gold shit loyalty to us, all right? They've been with us from day one. Or day... Day dot. Day... 50. Yeah, day 50. Day 50-ish. It's actually day Yeah, 50. they were around. <laughs> All right, so these, they look, the best male grooming products that you've ever seen. If you're covered in hair and you don't know what to do, you fucked all shit up, go to manscaped.com, use our discount code FULLYACTUAL20 for 20% off of everything. All right, 20% is a lot. They got shampoos, they got hairsprays, they just got, they, there's so much shit that I can't, even begin to the, tell you each individual thing good. yeah so i'm not gonna bother go to the website and have a look okay the best male grooming shit that you will ever see michael oh, you're destroying that no it's waterproof so that's, that's how fine. good they are michael's putting a sh spray on a shaver it's waterproof will not affect it all right so if you want to get your male grooming shit manscaped.com fully actual 20 for 20 percent off get them just because they're fucking legends how many brands have wanted to work with us and stay on around? This podcast? Just them. Just them. All and right? gnawed a bit. Like, so fucking, you know, get around. They've shown us some real fucking loyalty, and that's what Michael's all about. He loves that. Thank you very much. And of course, the other sponsor is our uh, subscription website, the University of Markle, where we post a weekly video. It's like 30, 40 minutes, and it is fucking crazy. It's shit that we cannot post to social media. If you see the website videos or you're a part of it, you would understand what we're talking about. These videos you will not see anywhere else. They're fucking, fucking crazy. And just out right now, as you're listening to this, we've got the uh, uh, leopard spots. Do leopard spots make humans faster? Oh no And we stand there And we slam squash balls into each other's bodies Leaving deep ball bruising And then we run 100 metres before we get the spots and after To see if we actually are faster with leopard spots Who was the fastest? <laughs> well you gotta watch it You gotta watch it But there were some outstanding results cunt It turns out that And you can watch that for free for 21 days Alright Just have a look at the content See if you works. like it If you don't you can leave But yeah it does we don't want to give too much away. It but sort of works. Look, it works. Yeah. yeah, it works. If you want to know what happens, it works. You can become leopards. But that was one of the most painful videos we've done in a while. That was not easy to get Jeez. through. Those squash hits, oh, man, they hurt. Excruciating, Matt. Why do squash balls hurt so much? I think it's because they compress and shit. I don't know. It's just something about them. I think this, it's a, similar to getting shot by a rubber bullet by police cunt. Have you been shot? Yes, by I reckon I have. Yeah, I remember that. Anyway, those are our uh, sponsors. So get around it, cunt. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right, here we go. go. Now it's, it's time, time for. 
On this day. On this on day. On this day. On this day. It's about fucking time on this day. Uh, here we go. All right. Let's see what Matt Brown has come up with here. Matt Brown writes these, researches them and writes them all on his own. We have nothing to do with it. On this day in 2007, Eminem shat slugs. Long, wide slugs. Slugs gushed from his snout. Eminem is a Range Rover. I'm going to be honest here, guys. I didn't find time to research today because of porn. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Eminem isn't really Range Rover. As punishment, I wish to either kiss Michael on the lips or get hit with a wooden spoon. <laughs> I am Matt Brown. <laughs> Holy <laughs> shit. Fucking, that's lazy. Dude, that's porn lazy, is, man. Porn is taking over. Yeah, what do you choose? Shit, so what are you going to choose, baby? trying to fill the bottle, man. you got to watch something. What do you choose? The wooden spoon or the Michael kiss, baby? A little gentle peck on the lips? Or a hard wooden slap to the thigh. Ooh, that's actually, yeah. I'm just trying to see if I can <laughs> muster up the kiss. Yeah, of course you can, baby. You got no cold sores at the moment? I, um, I don't right now, no. Come on, Matt. Give him a kiss. Hurry up. Yeah, come on. Meet halfway here. <laughs> yeah, come on. Can you not come comment? In. Don't comment. Come on. Come in here. Lean, <laughs> lean forwards a bit. Forget where you're mor- oh! Forget your morals. Forget your sexuality. And just dive in here. Yeah, give him a little <laughs> smooch. Come on. Stop. Give him a little smooch. Michael's, Michael's ready. Come on, man. Get in here. Yeah, peer pressure. Listen to us. Yeah, come on, peer pressure. Yeah, that's it. You'll do as you're told. Come. You'll do it when many ask you to. Ah, oh, they kiss on the lips. That's so fucked, man. I can't believe you did that. <laughs> I saw a comment either on the podcast or on a recent video, someone being like, I've watched your videos from day yeah, one and I'm convinced that Michael is bisexual. We were- <laughs> Does that mean it's cow? Because he's full, brought that up. We fully did read that one out today. <laughs> yeah, we can have that as cow. Yeah, that's a good that's one. That's it, that one cow comment. Yeah, that's, 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 that's going to be one. cow, by the way, because that's a great comment. And right. Michael, do, are you bisexual? Well, man, I've made out with a fair few dudes. Yeah, but you don't wank that. off to them. No, but it's all just a it joke. It would come across as like... Yeah, 100%. But no, Michael is, is a straight man. He just kisses blokes for the shock value. <laughs> yeah, I've found the one now. <laughs> but even before that, you weren't searching for men. Nah, nah. Because that would change everything. Henry now and then. But only when we're drunk. What, what do you mean? <laughs> you just confuse everyone again. <laughs> yeah, no, no. Only for fun. <laughs> <laughs> Oh. <laughs> <laughs> What's Matt Brown doing? He's looking. Um, trying to get the name of, um... He's looking around. <laughs> All right. What do All we right. have next? What do we have next? Michael's Bible. Uh, yet, yeah. where is it? You've sent it to me here, Michael. You've sent it to me on my phone. No, but the oh, the actual Bible. I don't know, but I have it here on my phone. And Michael has oh, written this. Oh no! Michael's Bible from Michael. Is that, does that make sense, everyone? Mm. Michael is his, Michael is writing his own Bible, and he's written this. And here it is. You sent it to me. Mm. Remember, this is a good one. <sighs> Imagine being an adult and loving superheroes. <laughs> oh wait, that's like seventy percent of the population. Like I get that Hollywood has sort of forced it upon you, but pick something better to obsess about. And not fucking Star Wars, because that's even worse. Hey. And get fucked if it's the Fast and the Furious franchise. That's Action right. movies in general can piss off. I'm sorry, but one man can't take down 100 other men in a shootout. Except Bruce Willis. There's something special about him. People need to be better and demand they make a second Titanic or even a third. Now that's something to get behind. Law and Order is so fucked and should never have been made. Sorry slash not Sorry. Sorry. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh well, there's so, an aggressive but tr- fair lesson from the Bible. So you guys gonna go see Doctor Strange? It just came out. Oh, oh my god! Like what a fuck that is one of the worst of them all. Doctor that is strange. Fucked. That's such is, a like, sh- is that what the, is his superpower? Is that the, the old? He um. It's like a fifty year old superhero man, and he has a cape. Yeah, he's like a he's a wizard. 
Oh, oh fuck you, Matt. God. <laughs> Have you if seen he can, that? If he can be a wizard, oh, I seen why doesn't one, he yeah. just do a spell and kill the other ones? Huh? Well, he's... You'd have to watch it, Tony. How many? There's like three of those ones now. That's like no, the no, third. No, no, it's just the second one they've released. Okay. He's been in a bunch of like the other films. Yeah, like all the Avengers and shit, yeah. right? I know which one you're talking about. Have you seen the first one? Yeah. Are you going to watch the second one? Yeah, probably. Okay. <sighs> Fuck you. <laughs> no, seriously. <laughs> We've had Fuck enough you. of that, Matt. Do you understand me? All right. And yeah, Titanic, why the fuck haven't they made a second one of that? Yeah, well, I think that's like a true story. But yeah, I guess they could make up a sequel. Yeah, I don't know. Like just... Like the Titanic's like bigger brother. The Titanic 2. And it's and it like instead of hitting an iceberg, um, it hits land. Yeah, or just keep the same one. It's land and then they all get off on this island. This island's just appeared out of nowhere and then it's lost. Holy shit. I was thinking more like they just do like the fish in the ship. Nah, nah. See, you got to get out. You got to change the way, man. They get they land on an island that's not on no maps, right? And then they can't get back off, cunt. That's Titanic number two. So they're proper lost. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's lost. It's the exact same script. Like the TV show lost? Yeah, yeah. Except for the start. Yeah, yeah. It's the exact same script. That's what Titanic 2 should be. But instead of all those episodes, just one long movie. <laughs> it's like, it's fucking like, what, 60 it's hours 60 long. hour, 60 hour movie. I'd still yeah. watch it. 110%. I'd watch that shit, man. You put that on a Friday morning, you done Sunday night come. Well, if you had <laughs> nothing else, if it's free to air, like that's worthwhile if you haven't got DVDs. Do you get anything. it now, Matt? Do you get it? How? Would you watch Titanic 2? Yeah. Okay. That wouldn't make sense because it's already. It, no, we just. Spoiler alert. The f- destroyed. Oh, man. Everyone's one. seen Titanic. Although they did make a movie ages ago in the 60s, I think, where they raised the Titanic. Anyway. Anyway. Yeah. Well, Titanic's the best. Anyway. <sighs> it's time for the most draining part of my week. Mm. This fucking black book steals a part of my soul. Every time I open it These are the most inner thoughts Of the most vile Vulgar Sexually predatory man That has ever walked The face of the earth This Is the Matt Brown Little black book Where he details all of his Fucks In his entire life Or his haves as he likes to say put it there I don't want to touch you while I'm reading this because energy your energy fucks me man alright here we go sets off the adrenal glands Uh! (laughs) 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 he looks like a hunter he looks like a hunter you're being Leonardo DiCaprio Yeah, fuck. I'm thinking about Titanic a fair bit. Have number 50. Long long strokes. Should you bone break before this? I'm already high as shit. Okay. What about for other people? I'll continue. Sure? Yeah, yeah. I can't be high while I read this. No, no. I'm saying for other people, not just you two. Oh, yeah. All right. Yeah. Bong right. And we're back. Hello. Number 15. Oh. 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 It was the end of a cool winter's evening 
I was on a date with the most stunning girl I had ever seen. She had fake breasts and long fake blonde hair. She was wearing heels and a short little black cocktail dress. The very sight of her made my blood thicken to a paste. The restaurant we were in was the fanciest I could afford. Nando's. I've had such a good time tonight, Tamara. Tamara was texting furiously on her phone and looked up briefly to acknowledge me. Ah, uh, yeah, it's been good, man. Are you right to get this? Of course, my darling. I paid for dinner with my entire savings, and we went outside. We stood outside in the cold night air facing each other. This was it. I was finally going to have the best looking girl I'd ever seen. My guts gargled at the thought of splitting this bitch. My little brown twitched eagerly in my pants, ready for battle. So tomorrow, shall we head back to my place for a drink and a thump? Tomorrow looked confused. A thump? Ew. Look, man, you seem like a nice guy, but I don't feel like that about you. Like, I just don't feel that spark. My heart sank. This can't be happening. I did everything that was required of me and even spent all my money on this. I had to act fast to change Tamara's mind. I pulled my shirt up to reveal my nipple. I squeezed it with my free hand and dead flies oozed out. How about now, Tamara? You feel that spark yet? Stay the fuck away from me, man. You fucking freak! Tamara turned and stormed off down the street. Rage flooded my body and I shit my nappy. How dare that bitch lead me on? Hey! Give me money for half of your Nando's! She turned and gave me the finger. That was it. I snapped. I set chase. She screamed and started running. I pushed off the ground and glided after her, hissing as I went. I'd never been this angry. I was gaining on her and she would not stop screaming. A few shocked onlookers pointed at me as they saw me gliding along. I grabbed my bottom lip and peeled it down past my chin. Ah! Ah! Tamara saw this and dropped to the ground with fear. She curled up into a ball and covered her head, still screaming. I reached her and stood over her with my dangling lower lip. Take my money! Please, please, just don't hurt me! I snatched a $20 note from her and ripped two lymph nodes from my neck. I threw the lymph nodes at her. She pissed herself with fear and my rage lust was so out of control that I bit my pinky finger off. I was barely holding on. I needed to release my mints. Get out of here! Tamara scrambled to her feet and continued to run. My eyes scanned my surroundings and I saw a dirty, dark alleyway. My testicles were so swollen and full of churning mints that I couldn't walk properly. I waddled over to the alleyway and started searching for something robust to fuck. My senses were so heightened that I could hear smells and see sounds. I noticed a rat to my left and in one motion my hand grabbed the rat and banged it onto my rock-hard cock. My dick exploded through the rat's ass and out of its mouth and it was now threaded onto my shaft. My gills fluttered slightly and my pupils engorged with salt. I saw another rat and leapt to it. I grabbed this one with both hands and power drove it onto my hard, screaming dick. Then another and another. I went crazy. Before long, I had skewered 15 rats onto my stinky fat cock. There were no more. There was no more room on my shaft to skewer another rat. So I knew the next rat would be the one to receive my load. A plump rat scurried to my right and my arm shot out faster than a bullet. I squeezed it slowly before jamming the final rat onto the tip of my little brown. The tip of my little brown entered the rat's ass and there it sat like an angel on a Christmas tree. I t- it screeched in pain and my huge bubbling sack was ready to start pumping mints. I got down on all fours and fucked down at the rat's tiny asshole. Cream started cascading from my tits and I arched my back and started howling like a wolf. And then it happened. Mints bellowed out of me and immediately filled the rat. I held the rat's snout shut and my mints blew the rat up like a balloon. Then bang! The rat exploded and my mints slapped against the walls. I continued climaxing and mints as hot as lava sprayed up into the night sky. I was finally free of my urges and I slumped onto the ground. I pulled the dead skewered rats off my shaft and looked up. 
To my horror, at the end of the alleyway, there was a parked bus full of children. They were all pointing and watching. Some were screaming and crying. A few were filming. I had made a massive mistake during my last rage attack. This is what happens when I lose control. I was too weak to move. Look away! (laughs) Don't look at me! I tried to stop them from looking, but they had already seen too much. A police car turned into the alleyway and skidded to a stop. I attempted to... Bound backwards out of there, but felt a taser sink to my skin. I flipped back on the ground among the dead, fucked rats. The police arrested me, and I was off to jail. Fucking rats. Wow. <laughs> you screamed oh, at no. Get out of yeah, here. That was hard, cunt. Oh my god. That hurt my back, eh? You like started arching. Stop fucking throwing. I had to, because. <laughs> there was a fire on your oh, thigh man. for a bit. Oh, James threw him before and the little rocks exploded. <laughs> anyway, that's fucked what you just did, but anyway, we'll move right along, shall we? <laughs> I can't believe that you did that, Matt. Can you picture what what he's saying? How many rats? Fifteen, 15. of them threaded onto his dick. Wow. Must have really compressed them. It's like a kebab. And then you put one on the end and off you went, right? Anyway, I don't want to talk revolting. Right. right. Revolting behavior. <laughs> Moving right along <laughs> to the cow. And this is a segment where we pick the best comment. Well, us three. We just pick one, our favorite comment, and we put it on a board, right? This fucking board. We print your comment out stick it on a board and then at the end of the year we're gonna pick another comment from that board to win another thousand dollars so if you make it on the board you got a one in 39 shot of winning a thousand dollars and that's separate to the other comment competition where if you just comment anything you can still win you don't need to be on the cow board to win a thousand you just need to comment so there's two thousand dollars up for grabs $2,000 $2,000 for cows. We've already said what the comment it is, Matt. Yeah. So stop holding your breath like that. I'll read it out. Um, so it says, after <sighs> three years of watching all the podcasts, all the YouTube and Facebook videos, all the website videos, I'm sure Michael is bisexual. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. And um, the, the, the comment came and we're going we're gonna to have to try and find out who this is because it came from an account called Matt's Mints. <laughs> Oh wow! Oh, pork shift choir. Yeah, yeah, yeah posting some good shit on Holy Instagram. Holy shit! Like, keep that up. Your stories are making me laugh. Follow Cork Shift underscore Brown on Instagram. And he posted the other day a picture of the after scene when after you fucking murdered the doctor. Oh, mm. the doctor. That's right. So the, I, I'm in a. <laughs> <laughs> You murdered someone. You murdered a male doctor and a lot of rats. Oh my god! So I'm in a. That is fucking crazy. I'm in a brown family chat with Quark Shift. <laughs> there's a brown family oh, yeah. chat. How there's many a, are there? There's it's Quark Shift. <laughs> there's Quark Shift Choir Queston and Requiften and me. <laughs> Requiften's oh. the tit thing that it Matt made. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's what we still got to get the. Look at this. People will be able to see my guts from here. Better make sure I keep my legs down. We've got to get the mannequin built or at least set up. Yeah, yeah. Look, we'll see. All right. Just send in your... We got a lot of PO boxes today. Very exciting. So we're going to open some uh, big packages. All right. So it's PO box will be a good segment this week. All right. P.S. If you don't... If you guys reckon we should get rid of segments or something slow and shit... Let us know because we will 100% listen to you. <laughs> and we could replace it with something else. Michael's got the giggles, does he? With his mullet. <laughs> oh, man. Okay. Okay. What's the next ringworm of the ring? Uh, next segment, we got questions, right? And these are questions. Hang on. We've skipped Bachelor Brown. Are we doing that? Oh, yeah. Holy fuck. Did you send me the number? Yes. 
All right, guys, it's time for the Mofaklailala. Mr. Brown, as you see right here, he is so single and fucking single right now, and he has no idea how to find women. He only goes for looks. He doesn't care. And he they need to be, like, between 16 and 18 years old. Oh, no, and they don't. And that's usually what he goes for. And Michael and I sat down and said, we're going to take his life into our, our own hands, and we will find him a partner worthy of his lovey stick mints. Stop telling people I'm going after 16-year-olds. So, so Matt Brown... This is your Bachelor Brown segment where Michael and I find partners for you and bring them to you via phone date. So we're going to call a stranger who wants to be with Matt and introduce them and listen to them have their first date conversation. It is very exciting. At the end of the year, three are coming and they're going to all do meth. The top three, <laughs> Matt's top three from the whole season will fly them in and then Matt will pick one to, to be with for the rest of his life. Can Anyway, here we go. You need to stop telling people that we're flying. <sighs> Is this connected to the fly? Can you turn the fly fly up? No. Hello. <sighs> Hello. Is this Ethan? Yes, it is. Ethan, you are on the Marty and Michael fully actual podcast and sitting right next to us, we have a very nervous and very open-minded, right, Matt? Matt Brown. And Matt Brown would love to talk to you and see if there's some kind of spark so maybe we can establish a romantic connection, Matt. Don't you shake your head and be homophobic right from the get-go. I don't want that on this podcast! You will be open-minded with Ethan and give him a chance! Ethan, I'll throw it to you. Hello, Matthew. Oh, oh my God, Matt. Come on, Matt, talk to him, please. Matthew. <laughs> Don't be shy, Matt. <laughs> <laughs> Hurry up and say something! I don't want to say this is Ask him where he's from. You always care. ask where they're from. You always ask where they're from. Matt, you can't be disappointed at this process. You have never considered a man. Be open minded. Have you? Have you, Matt? Where and you that from? is disgusting in this day and age. Where are you from? Oh. I am from Brisbane, Taylor. Oh. Oh. Hang on, hang on. What did you say then? Brisbane, what? Shayla Park. Oh, okay. So That's I thought, not too far. I thought he man. said Brisbane State High. I was like, fuck that. <laughs> Kid. <laughs> <laughs> we would never do that. So, Ethan, why don't you tell Matt a little bit about yourself, like how old are you, what you do for a living, and what you do to him if you're alone with him? No, I don't want to do this. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well. Yeah. I am actually a bit younger than all the other people have been coming on this. Yeah, so how young are we I talking? I am turning 19 on Friday. Oh, okay, lucky few, as long as you're 18. Underage. Jesus Christ. I was getting quiet. Dude, now. that no, is your, that is your favourite age. I had my age. finger that on is the perfect. Fucking, That's your favourite age. I had my finger on That's the hang-up button. That's your fucking prime age, okay, cunt? <laughs> <laughs> Don't swear. <laughs> Matt, you are being so dismissive. If, if this was a girl, you'd be far more open-minded. Why are you being like this? Is it because you're a homophobe? No, I'm not homophobic. Okay, well then how about you have a chat to Ethan? Do you love him, you reckon? No. <laughs> Is he top three? No. I think Ethan's crawling up. What there, about slowly. after meth? No. <laughs> Matthew. <laughs> Matthew. <laughs> what about Definitely. if you do some meth? What are your hobbies, Ethan? Tell me. You got 10 seconds. <gasps> oh. Uh, I play soccer. I, so I can be a good wife to you. Okay, he's fit. That's good. Okay, and he's... Uh, I'm young and ripe, like I said. Oh, Matt, that's your favourite young and ripe. What colour's your hair? Oh, 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 <laughs> What's the question? So, yeah, so wait. I don't know. No, what else was I going to say? Coloured uh, hair. Oh, yeah. So, Ethan, can you please do us a favour and follow Matt Brown, 1111 yeah. on Instagram? So I can block you. Oh, <laughs> Matt, you are, Matt, I reckon <laughs> you have shit your nappy. I reckon. 
I'm so <laughs> sorry about this, Ethan. I'm so sorry to waste your time like this. I genuinely, genuinely thought the Matt had changed and that he would be far more open-minded with this. So apologies. Look, have a crack anyway. Give him a message on Instagram. Um, see what happens. Keep us posted, okay? Keep us in the loop. If Matt Brown is rude to you at all, please e- let Ethan, us know. Ethan, I'm too old for you. Oh, here we go. He didn't mind about yeah. age when I'm, she didn't have a fucking I'm cock dangling. 19 is too young. Oh, I'm bullshit. Oh, sorry, <laughs> I'm hearing excuses. Yeah, it's yeah, fucking excuses. Yeah, dude. You don't know him, Matt. Yeah. Could be Try the one. Me. You don't. He, Ethan could be very mature for his age. And after meth. What Ethan. do you do for work, Ethan? Civil construction. There you go. He's Civil construction. So, so that's he, sort of same thing. Shirt off. He'd be all oiled up during the day, slamming. He'd have a hard hat. Oh yeah, <laughs> Matt Brown. You guys could suck each other off in the bathrooms. <laughs> oh, 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 Matt Brown. Oh, oh. Just think about it, Matt. Okay. Just think about it. All right. I might go home. It's a yes. I Thank reckon. you very much for your time, Ethan. You've been lovely. And yeah, um, please message Matt Brown and let us know how it goes. We wish you all the best. We hope you make the top three so we can bring you back at the end of the season. And do math. Right. No worries. Thank you. All right, Ethan. Thanks for your time, buddy. Chat soon. See you, Matt. Love you. <laughs> Say it back. <laughs> Say it back. He loves you too. He loves, He does, Ethan. He does. All right. All right. See you later, guys. See ya. See you, dude. <laughs> Oh my god. You were a stale bitch then, dude. You gotta loosen up. You gotta loosen up and open your mind, cunt. Just because it's got a cock doesn't mean it can't love. Yeah, dude, I reckon. Just, I reckon have two girls and then one boy and the top you, three at the you, end of look, the year. Answer this question, Matt. Shut answer, up. Answer Just this because question. it's more inclusive. I don't want anyone at the end of the year. Matt, answer this question. Have you ever dated a guy? No. Okay. What was that? Well, so, how do you know, right, that you're not going to like it? Pretty sure. Yeah, exactly. Well, I you're reckon not. one dude has to come at the end of the year and two girls. No. Are. All right. I'm no. Three girls time. still, but one guy has to come as well. No. All right. Well, one, f- two females and one of another gender. It could be a transgender. It could be um, a, a boy. It could be a- Non-binary. Non-binary. Anything, Matt. Shut up, both of you. <gasps> Oh, mama, he said that. He said that. Anyway, we'll talk about it later. After meth, anything will go. All right, Matt. So I guess what Matt's trying to say is that he prefers us to get women for dates. We didn't know that, okay? We had to try it. So just back off, all right? Fucking hell. Yeah. So aggressive. Yeah, that was fucked. So rude to poor old Ethan. Oh, my God. You turned it off. You turned it off. Just then. The camera stopped recording. It bucked. It buckled up a bit. No, they're still on. I know what you're doing. All right. Ah! <laughs> Just be careful. Anyway, oh. um, let us have a um, very quick... Um, <laughs> break, yes. and we'll be right back with more. Osley. What's up, man? Life ain't that bad, man. He thought we were going home. And we're back. Um, all right, guys. It's time for fucking questions. If you want us to answer your questions, comment your questions. We answer the most liked first, right? Uh, unless we've answered them before. Okay? Um, so if you want us to answer your question, comment your question and see if it gets lots of likes and have a scroll through and like other questions that you want us to answer, maybe. Do you think about that? Hmm? All right, Brand, <laughs> take it away. Lift off, baby. Look, look. Are you concerned about that Bachelor Brown, man? No. Is it the fireworks that are scary? You guys just been fucking with me today. (laughs) We have been fucking with him a fair bit today. Oh, but it's because we were testing out to see if our... Yeah, we wanted um, to test our prank call. Yeah, like our the boy who cried wolf skills are good. Yeah, it broke my heart. Oh, dude, trust me. You wait till we... We're going to convince Lockie that someone's dead today. That's what I'm worried about. You're going to bring someone to tears. <laughs> no, Lockie... Oh, Lockie won't worry. Like, it, it'll be sort of... Oh, he'll probably be worried. We'll see. It'll be fun. It's fun making people cry, Matt. No, he won't cry. But, like, do you want some of these Chinese whispers? They're good. What's it? Oh, God. 
Have a go. See? Bosley hates him. Just wait. No, no, stop, stop. Bosley honestly hates him. Can we not? Okay. Oh. Not on the hard ground. Otherwise, they're too loud for him. Do it on the table. Oh, okay. That. Sorry, Bosley. Enough. Enough with the fireworks. Not in my room. That's it. Night, dude. Okay. It's okay. Anyways. Anyways. It's okay. Good boy, darling. Oh, he was so scared just then. It's all right. You can go to sleep there. He does not know what to do with himself now. Come here. Come on. Come here, Bobby. Bosley. Bosley. Come up on the couch. Come, here, come, come on. on. Come on. Yes. 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 <laughs> Boz is on the podcast. He's Sit on here. Dick. He's standing on my dick. He was. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, oh, my beautiful Bosley. Oh, oh look at Bosley. this. Look at this. This is just stunning. He was so scared. He came up here. Oh, oh, it's a good boy. Because it's, it's getting like cooler. He's not as yeah, so hot. Exactly. He so won't nice. last long though. He won't last long. He's still quite warm. But anyway, questions. Here we go. All right. Top question went to Joshua Quill. Quill. <laughs> Quill. Yeah. It's it's pronounced. Uh, qu- the I is science. Science. Quill. Question Sorry. for the podcast. Um, can we bring back story time even just once? Yeah. Well, we sort of did a story time last week. Yeah, I was mm-hmm. trying. I did reply. I said, "Oh, we sort of do story time during shit talk." Every yeah, time. yeah. We know, it's not a segment that yeah. we name, but we do talk about stories like the fake proposal story today. That's crazy, man. Waterloo and the karaoke, man. That's not shit, bitch. Yeah, Dad got stabbed. We in could, the face. you know what? We could, oh. we could. I was listening to some of our earlier podcasts. We could retell a few of those stories. So I feel like we'd be better at it. And like most of the viewers haven't heard them. Yeah, all right. Yeah. Well, we have got a few. We have got a lot of stories. And um, what are we looking at? up stories. We looked at some of the episodes. We thought maybe some had been deleted, didn't we? Oh, uh, yeah, episodes. yeah, from season one, yeah. So we maybe had to retell a few. Yeah, so fucking hold on to your hats, cunt. Let us know if you want us to retell some old ones, if you've heard them before, because we don't want to bore those fans that mm. have heard them. Yeah, true. So comment and let us know if you're okay with it, okay? Right. Sure. <laughs> All right. Next question is from Tom <laughs> Newton. Uh, if you three went to jail, what would be the most like? Uh, what would most oh, what would it most likely be for? Well, Matt, we all know what Matt's would be. Oh. Um, and what mine would probably be um, public nuisance. Mine would be like mine would be murder, and Michael's <laughs> would be. Um, Drink driving. No, Michael would be like a fucking urinating uh, in public too uh, many like a, times. Like a war crime. Oh, <laughs> Michael, Michael would has building chemical bombs and he'd be dropping them on um, different countries. <laughs> Michael would go to jail for war crimes. Matt for um, sex. And what are you murder? <laughs> and I'd go. F- I'd be in for murder, cunt. Okay. Sorry about that, eh? What about Bosley? Bosley, he could be in jail for being such a good boy. Oh, my little sneaker. Oh, oh my God, my little darling. Oh, where's my little sneaker? So he loves that. Holy <laughs> shit, he fully does. He loves the kissy sounds. See his ears pop pop pop. Okay, (laughs) fucking hell, you're sidetracking my mind. What's the next question? (laughs) Next question from Dylan B. Um, Dylan B. Fuck yeah, man. B. Martin Martin (laughs) has yeah. Martin has a heart and adrenal glands going. Yeah, look, I um uh, we after that week that we had that week off. Um, fell off the health wagon a fair bit and I've been struggling to get back on the wagon like I'm still on like grabbing on but it's dragging me along the ground and my body's getting all <laughs> ripped up as I try and get back on the wagon so I haven't let go I'm headed back I've clawed my way back up starting this week I've been pretty good so yeah I, during my falling off the wagon it fucking hard I've put on like a couple of kilos and blood pressure's gone up a little bit again 
but I'm fucking, I'm, I'm sure that I can cure this with lifestyle and just being the healthiest motherfucker alive and exercising my tits off cunt. And the magic potion. Yeah, so I'm not, I haven't gone back to the cardiologist even though he wanted me to because he wanted to start me on medication. I've gone, nah, fucking cancel that cunt. See how we go going solo. I can do it, cunt. So he's good. Next question is from <laughs> Amy Jones. Have you met Miss Jones? Yeah. Um, a question for the podcast do you boys smoke your weed with green or do you mix it with tobacco we don't mix with tobacco I don't get the spinning yeah a lot of people Fucking do it. it makes it harsh makes it really addictive I get that it like makes your weed last longer but just like get more money I think that comes from growing up it's as no well good. and how you do it so everyone yeah. did it growing up people do it for the head spins yeah if you want a head spin just hold your breath like some people will run out of weed and then just do tobacco. Imagine backy just bongs. doing backy bongs. Backy bongs count. That'd be rough. Yeah, that would be rough as guts. Oh, my little darling. Huh? It's hard to stop touching him. Oh, it's so beautiful. He's such a perfect animal. This creature chooses to live with me. Unbelievable, cunt. Next question is from Ringworm He's D. A beast. <laughs> He could kill us all if he wanted to. If for some reason, oh Matt Brown, if you're if if for some reason your mints couldn't produce <laughs> offspring, and you had to use someone else's sperm out of Marty and Michael, who would you choose and oh, why? Oh, a very good question, my friend. Oh, that's <laughs> difficult. Maybe you could have a um, concoction of both of our sperms mixed together. Oh, that actually that would be good because mm. I'll get um I'll get the. You know, good you German get, genes, yeah, you, but then I'll get Michael's like unbelievable uh, resistance to any disease. Yeah, so. yeah, yeah. Hey, Michael's an antibiotic. <laughs> <laughs> Imagine what the dick would look like combined. Yeah, it'd be a mushroom. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. 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 Um,. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god oh, my little fly light. oh he's getting a bit hot now yeah, yeah i could see he was getting a bit like oh maybe i could leave but, hey, he was so scared that he's willing to put up with it for a little bit longer next question is from georgia johnson or johnston depending where she's from um have you guys ever lost mates due to being in social media or gained them being in social media? I think you've definitely old, gained some. I think the older you get, the more you just sort of, the more your circle sort of, sort of dwindles down as you sort of go down your path in life. But not because of social media. But yeah, we became really super busy all of a sudden and couldn't go to parties. Remember, we couldn't, we couldn't go to, we didn't go to birthday parties. We didn't see anyone for a long time. You guys came to my 30th. Yeah, I, mean, I was only there for like two hours. Oh yeah, you went. Yeah, that is true. Michael went Ubered on my thirtieth birthday, but you did show up and you did make a small speechy thing. So that was really, good. yeah. So yeah. fucking yeah. So yeah, I guess so, but not because they don't. They hate what we do. All of our close friends are very supportive. Actually, you told me uh, and cut this if you don't like it, but I remember you telling me once that you had people that you never really spoke to from the past. Like I think even school trying to talk to you more yeah and fucking be friends well no you it's it's like it's like it's as you once you start trying at something that's hard everyone's real supportive to begin with and then everyone goes real quiet and no one is fucking supportive and then you find people talking shit about you behind your back all the fucking time and then suddenly when you become good at what you're doing and you become successful they'll come fucking crawling back and oh we supported you the whole time <laughs> that is fucking legit sorry but Greg, Greg, is our, <laughs> Greg, Greg, Greg has been a, a he's pillar, like our mascot, a pillar of loyalty. Uh, dude, Greg was on. F we we're on fire with Greg. Chance. Yeah, Greg came to Michael's uh, yeah. birthday on the weekend. We were chanting Greg's name. It was very good. He, Greg was in a w recent website video too, by the way. Oh, really? So yeah, yeah, it might be out. No, no, no it's yet. not yet. Not yet. It will be coming. It will out. be coming out. He was like our washer. Next question. Um, oh, this is one you. How come you to? don't want to know what website video it is? Wouldn't that be interesting? I don't. I don't you don't. You don't watch the website videos. Oh, okay. Well, anyway, it's the sandpaper slip and slide. So it's a slip and slide where we've duct taped sandpaper. Oh, to I remember. It. Did that work? Yeah, it hurt a lot. Yeah, it wounds. Anyway, <laughs> next question is from. Really oh, I'm gonna fuck this up big time. 
it's either Han or so Fan. Try, try your best, Matt. Just don't be racist. Oh, dude, I'm so sorry. Or girl, I'm so sorry. Is oh that... my god, he's genderist now too. Fan do fan do. Shit, I'm bad with that one. Anyway, the question oh. is, why isn't the Pain Game series uploaded on YouTube yet? I really do dig the show ca- uh, show host character. Because our YouTube is currently demonetized and we're working with a company called Studio 71 to get it re-monetized. And then when it's re-monetized, then I'll post all those bad boys, baby. And we'll, and we'll fucking, yeah. But until then, um, yeah, it's just normal videos to keep the channel active, unfortunately. It's so annoying. I fucking hate can you not get it re-monetized? <laughs> is there a- yeah, it's just such a fucking process. Our last network dogs that had us, they fucked something up and it's taken so long. Got to get a whole new AdSense account and all this shit. It's fucking fucked, gun. Yeah. yeah missing out, like on, missing out on buckets of cash, but that's okay. Whatever. So. All right. Oh, Next boss. question. Look at him sleeping like this. Uh, next question is from Ryan Fer, uh, Fernandez, 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 Ryan Fernandez. Fucking hell, man. Fuck, sorry, I'm struggling. Racist. Um, <laughs> what are your boys' thoughts on the Depp and Heard case? Oh, wow. Uh, it's hard to comment because I don't really, haven't really ta- watched much of it, but from what I have seen, it yeah. seems like Heard is coming out to be a bit of a fucking psycho fuck. And that Johnny Depp is, while also quite damaged, yeah. not as far fucked as what it appears Amber Heard is. Well, yeah, it's toxic situation. Mm. They should just throw them both out and... Start again. Yeah, start again. Well, it's just like, why the fuck are we all watching it? Yeah, I don't know. Why is the media showing it like so Yeah, much? I like, agree. What are they fuck? It's gone forever. I like, it is. I, people find it entertaining. I get it, but... And because it's different with America, because you're allowed in the courtrooms there. I don't think you're allowed in courtrooms in Australia to yeah, film. Like, what happened to this fucking so-called war or like flu? Anyway, sorry about that. How dare you? Yeah. So those things still exist. Bleep, Michael Connor. <laughs> Final Johnny question Depp of the heard. evening. Um, the uh, the question is from Killer Sir Two Thousand. Um, will we ever see the game show host make an appearance on the podcast? Fucking hell. Um, I don't know. I guess I guess I could try and find him. He's hard to track down. He always wanders off, doesn't he? And he's yeah, fast. I think he's like battling some shit, hey? Yeah, yeah, by the sounds of it. Yeah, he sounds like he's like not doing real well. He looks like he moves quick. Yeah. He screams a lot. Yeah, Apparently. it's pretty intense, hey? Anyway, if you don't know what we're talking about, we have a this game show we post to our backup facebook page and we have this game show where this guy in a purple orange suit just appears out of nowhere and just plays games with michael and it hurts him a lot yeah and apparently he's going through a divorce is that is that the latest i heard it in the video he was on is the that phone what he said? yeah wow okay so he's going through he's going through some rough shit or like a moment. mortgage problem with the bank right so financial issues and going through a divorce matt brown all right (laughs) Amber Heard and Johnny Depp Matt's on a toilet only another seven episodes and you get a huge upgrade my sweet sweet when you say a huge upgrade what do you mean my pink pink brown I reckon send your suggestions in by the way for chairs if people you want to contribute send your to the Marty and Michael Instagram account not the fully actual account because then Matt will see them Send them to us if, if you have any new chair suggestions at episode 20. Good boy, Bozzy. All right, Bozzy, we'll now introduce the next segment. <laughs> that was beautiful. Good right. boy, Bozzy. Good boy, Michael. We says, have this presents. Fun. Oh, yes, it's P.O. Box time. Oh. Boz, you might want to move for this in case there's something dangerous in them. Yeah, actually. Oh. Right. We're only going to open two today just because. Be careful with that one. It says fragile on it. I'm scared of anthrax now. Just, yeah, we're only going to open two today so we can make this last a little bit. Thanks, Boz. I'll see you anyway, later. Mate. All right, here we go. Do you have a knife or something, Brown Town? Uh, yep. Michael, do you know where a knife is? No, I, th- I broke the last one on a wall today. Oh, trying to hit a watermelon. Um, 
This is a gift for you, for Martin. Each of you have a shirt coming. I don't know when they'll arrive. Oh, or if they this. arrive together, sorry. From yeah. Derek. So, Marty, this time. one's for you. All right. This is a... It says... Play the best. I'm not angry. I'm German. <laughs> that makes sense. That's very good. <gasps> Very good. Thank you very much for that shirt. Who was it? It's from Derek. Fucking so thank Desi. You, Derek. Cheers, Desi. Oh, Cheers. is that Derek Barbell? I can't say his last name. Yeah, thank you very Levens. much for that, Derek. Levens. I'll be wearing that around the house, and Mon will give a good old chuckle. All right, what do we got here? Careful, eh? fragile. No. Hurry up. Ooh. <sighs> <Anything more? sighs> All right, here's a letter first. Let me read this. Okay, I'll keep this short for the podcast. Dearest Martina, Michella, and The Brown, thank you for being more B and being here instead of there. Hope you like the gift. I just wish I was better at Photoshop, but you get the idea. Incidentally, it was me who sent the seven gold bars in last oh, season, but due to out. work, I had to ask my elderly, my elderly mother, Patricia, to post them. Oh, wow, well, and there they are right there. Why are you seven, sending seven gold bars to Australia? I'm not, <laughs> I'm not going to lie. That was a tricky one to answer. Anyway, six months later and I cannot let her take credit for my idea and don't you ever forget that mum I'm 35 you're the absolute best look after yourselves cheers John boy you fucking legend John <laughs> yeah alright let's see what he's done here let's see what he's done okay so it sounds like a photoshopped image okay so it's a photo in a photo frame I'm just this taking will go on the ringworm last of the bubble wrap off next to Matt yeah we'll put this up on a mantelpiece for sure oh wow it's so beautiful look at that Oh, wow, it Look is. Look at that. It's like a movie um, poster or something like that. My wife is sick. <laughs> oh, <wow. laughs> That's so beautiful. Can you go and push show, show that to the people? Oh, show, show I'm real close. Give me some Stop. fruit. Give me some of that oh. fucking What's fruit. The cord? What's the cord? Fuck you. That's my fruit. Sorry, Bozzy. It's okay. Good boy. We're oh. just joking. <laughs> oh, you made me want to faint. <laughs> wow. Thank you. Are you it's in beautiful. that brown? Where are you? No, probably not. Oh, yeah, yeah. There you are. You're in like the fucking... The van. No, the like fucking... The foreground. See that? It's him there. <laughs> oh, yeah. It is too. Oh, Julian's in there too. <gasps> oh, very, very good. Thank you fucking very much, John Boy. That's really nice. Let's open one more. Yeah, fuck it. This is addictive. <laughs> very good. Don't you dare damage that brown town. <laughs> what do you want? <laughs> Don't break it. Don't break anything, brown town. <laughs> Bring something over. As long as you don't break it, you brown. You want the big one, the medium one, the other medium one, or the little one? Let's go a medium one. <laughs> That's don't, crazy, man. Don't this break it. Heavy. Oh, yes. It's probably some sort of organ then. If it feels heavy, it usually means not good. Oh, yeah. Well, we made a mistake. I'm pretty sure we made a mistake. Oh. You want me to take it? Yes, please, Matt. That's bad. That's yours, Matt. I saw a jar of what looks like human remains. That's like red flesh. I'm not kidding. What is that? Pull that out, man. Oh, no. I believe this is chilies. Oh. I do believe. Oh, no. You have to eat them all. Fuck. You that. have to eat them all. You have to eat them all. Is it chilies? Oh, I don't know. It do yeah, I think they're. I think they are. They're red chilies, are they? Hang on, there's a note here. And I'll read it on it. Okay, he's got a note. Let's see what it says. Let's see what it says. Matt Brown's unfolding it. Hey boys, um, hey boys. Here's some stuff to spice up your life. I've been talking to Mr. Matt Brown, me, uh, whilst these devilish things have been growing, and I hope you can make a great video with them. I'd like to see a little taste test on the podcast as well. Hope you enjoy, Aiden. See, he wants us to taste test. Uh, he's been sending me videos of them growing in his garden. Uh, there's some more stuff here too. I'm pretty sure. Oh, drugs. Oh, he's put like an... Yeah, he grounded some up into powder as well. Snort it, Michael. Yeah. So it says re, uh, Reaper Scorpion Chili Powder. Oh. That's going to be a fucked day for you guys. Oh, oh they eat bugs. They're not, bugs. they're not bugs. They're not bugs. 
<laughs> I'd rather eat bugs. Oh, I thought you said I don't eat bugs. <laughs> I was like, okay, that makes sense. Oh, dude. Is that it? Yep. Thank you, Aiden. Thank you very much, Aiden. They, 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 I must say, though, these don't look appetizing at all, does it? It looks like because they're floating in oil and that it looks so fucked. Our night's going to be ruined. We do that. You're going to open that? Yeah. Why? I don't know. Oh, my God. I'm going to pour this on Michael's chest. I'm so fucking not down for this, eh? (laughs) I love how they've got little nuclear signs on them. Oh, Oh my. These are dried out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. This is how people die. I wonder what would happen if we ate that. What if we have a little bite of these ones? All right. He's trustworthy. (laughs) <laughs> Matt knows that we're a bit scared that people might be poisoning yeah, us. Yeah, so he says uh, dehyd- dehydrated Carolina Reapers. Which one do you want? Are you fucking joking me? <laughs> and this is some powder. No, nah, we'll leave the powder. Save like, that for a, for, for, for for a tea. Day. I'll be able to put that in Michael's coffee or something one day. Okay. Oh, that's a great idea. Don't lose that. Put that down under there. The only well, way I can do, do this is, is if it was surprised on me. me. I'm not I'm fucking, fucking willingly doing this, putting doing this. a chili not doing in this. my mouth. I don't know if I can eat the whole thing, dude. Yeah, yeah. Just have a nibble and see what happens. And there's nothing in this house that will help me. Yeah, you got cold water running in the taps and you got a monster. Right, Matt is now going to have a one? nibble. If after you do, if you're still standing, I will, yeah. Oh, I'll try it if you try it. Huh. Just a bite? Yeah. Instant. It's instant. You've got it. I'm not doing it. (laughs) (laughs) It's instant. It's. (laughs) I was the boy who cried wolf then. I will not do that. It's instant. It's instant. (laughs) It's basically. What do I do? What do I do? What do I do? What do I do? This is it. This is it. What do I do? (laughs) Dude, we've got. This is me for the rest of the podcast. Manscaped body spray. (laughs) Put it on your mouth. That's not good. Oh wow <laughs> Is it bad? It's Your eyes good. are different It's not good Is it really that bad? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No no I'm okay thanks That <laughs> 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 was a stupid decision His oh. face is going all red now Oh wow You have got like crying It's weird It's just a nibble has sent oh, him spiraling <laughs> <laughs> Just a nibble and he's fucked cunt Oh no <laughs> He's full gagging and shit what about would you have Gareth now? <laughs> Pat, there right. you go. There's a step closer oh, to Matt. Matt has said he wants. Oh wow, he's found oh, milk. Oh. <laughs> he found milk, but it's off in Michael's fridge. Can I have it? Oh. <laughs> Michael has off. Dude, milk. just pour it on. Oh, me. <laughs> <laughs> just put like off milk. In, yeah, have some cream. Oh yeah, cream. Can you bring that cream oh. over? Oh. Turn it upside give it a, down. Give it a shake. Give the whipped cream a shake. <laughs> Did you get some? <laughs> no, I've only been ordering Uber Eats because all my food is always off. Can you can you bring that whipped cream over here? Actually, oh, looks all right. Oh, oh yeah, no, nah, that that should have some cream left in it. Matt, you've left the fridge door open. You rude sod. Just pour the off milk on your tongue. Don't swallow it. Stick your tongue up Bosley's ass. Look at my little snicker. <laughs> oh, he's in pain. <laughs> He Can we talk. get on with the podcast now, Matt Brown? Would that be okay? Is this you now? Oh man, he's in. He's struggling. <laughs> I can't talk. I'm right glad now. we didn't do that. <laughs> <laughs> Look how red his face is. <laughs> <laughs> it oh, was, man. It's going to be getting worse for like 15 minutes and then oh it starts to. God, <laughs> it won't. Oh, anyway, no. Thank you for sending your st- every stuff in, guys. We really appreciate it. And we will open everything live on the podcast. If you want to send something in, PO Box 256 Taken 4018 Queensland, Australia. And we open it live on the podcast. And Matt Brown will taste everything. Anything yeah, and everything shit. That you said. Is that worse or like less? Worse? What? Is it worse? What? Is it worse? The pain. <laughs> yeah, wow, he's pissed. <laughs> Holy shit. All right. We are. 
All right, well, let's have a quick little bong break while Matt um, fixes his snout. We're not finishing? Oh, we got fucking prank call. <laughs> yes. We got to tell one of our friends that someone's died. <laughs> anyway. <gasps> First He's of, considering the off mill. First of April. Man, Michael, that is two weeks off. Yeah. That's all right. It's <laughs> not that long. I've had shit for like six months. I reckon Michael, pour it on your mouth and see. Just don't digest it. He can't pour it. It's cheese now. Is it gloopy? No, it's not gloopy. By the way, everyone, we've Can got I an, see it? We've got an experiment. I'll have some. We've got an experiment going outside where we um, have just so left far, two two litre bottles of milk and it's already looking pretty cool so just FYI anyway it's time for the prank call Michael's about to drink his two week old milk <clears throat> more than two weeks by the way much more than two weeks it's fine really try it no no I'm okay <laughs> fucking three week old milk it's like the 11th or something and that's 21st of May that's nearly an entire month alright Matt come back he's um, he's struggling everyone he's still struggling from the chili so Michael and I decided not to try it <laughs> <laughs> see that's when the boy who cried woofed like woofed creates good things woofed so you can do that to your friends and then you don't have to do it anyway alright it's time for the prank call and guess what this week, the prank call will be done by no <laughs> other than Michael Corey Brookhouse. And we're going to do this because Michael's very good at this. He does this for fun. We're going to call some of our friends. We're going to start with Lockie. You guys all know Lockie. We're going to call Lockie. And Michael's going to try and convince him that Bosley has died and that I am devastated. Oh, man. I just pictured it. Actually, Bosley dying. It was absolutely you devastating. the other day. Absolutely oh, yeah, devastating. The KFC I don't think I know what I'm going to do when he dies. Don't think he's still got another ten years. Yeah, he's very um, very healthy. Bosley, he's outside right I'm now in too, the dark. I'm too ringed for this, but I'll try. I'm just going to go like with a like really forceful like, holy shit, dude! Have you heard the news? And be like a little bit flustered by it. Hello. Hey, dude. It's Michael. How are you? Mate, you're still no cool ID. You literally. I'm so lucky because I answer every fucking time for oh, you. Fuck. I always forget from doing prank calls and shit. Fuck, sorry. What do you want from me? Oh, man. Okay. It's basically a shit situation. Um, I haven't got my phone's dead, but basically Bosley's like fucked. He's dead. Really? So like, yeah, Marty's just a wreck right now. So like, I'm just sort of like, can you just let Jackson know? Apparently we organized on Friday, but like the whole week's off because like. Yeah, we're going to do some videos. Really? You guys, yeah, yeah, dude. It's not like... I throwing your life? Throwing, I, throwing Amber and Michael's life? Yeah. Yeah, I swear on them, dude. And like, I just, I feel like shit too. I don't know how to fucking like talk to him right now. You're a liar. No, I'm serious, dude. It's not good. You've lied about so many things like this, Michael, and I don't know whether to believe you. Dude, I promise you, like... Yeah, anyway, uh, I've, I've got to go because I've got to talk to some other dudes, like other people. Oh, I've got to call Greg. All right, bye. Okay, see you, dude. <laughs> what the fuck? What the fuck? He just left him thinking that now? Just like me today, you... <laughs> I, we all know. <laughs> Michael can't do this because <laughs> everyone knows that he's like that. All right, you should, let's call him back now. You should him call him back and, and, you try and, and say the same the thing. Boys, he's dead. <laughs> you say the same thing. <laughs> Oh, I don't know. Or whatever you reckon. Just see where it goes. Hi. Hey, dude. It's uh, it's Marty, man. Hello. Can you hear me? Yeah. 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 Hey, man. It's Marty. Um. Yeah. Yeah. Bosley's uh, he's really, really sick at the moment. Um. Would you? Jackson's not answering his phone. Can you uh, just let him know that we can't uh, come down on Fridays? Yeah. I'm gonna have to fucking. Yeah. I think I might have to get him put down. To be honest. You're a liar. You rang off Michael's phone. Yeah, look, we're lying to you right now, okay? 
<laughs> Fuck. You fucking idiot. I fucking knew it. <laughs> oh, man. It's hard to get lucky because I've lied to him so many times. It's hard to get yeah, anyone like, close to you. No, no matter what you say, I'm going to think it's a lie until I know. And I think photo proves that Bolsey's dead. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, lucky! This is on the podcast, by the way. Lucky, we thought we'd try and trick you by telling you Bosley's dead. What? I love fucking Bosley. <laughs> yeah, I know. No, he will never die. So there you go. You don't need to worry about that. I'm at a wedding, so I'm just fucking trying to deal with my friend's dog dying. Can you guys kill me? <laughs> <laughs> All right, my baby boy. We'll let you get oh, back to your wedding, you, but fucking see you soon. I came up. See you, Lucky. Bye, uh, bye. Love you. Bye. Love you. Fuck Love the you. actual podcast. Oh. Bye. Oh. <laughs> All right, should we try Jaden? Same thing. Yeah. Okay. Bosley's dead. All right. <laughs> hey, dude. Hello, Jaden. It's Michael. How are you, man? Yeah, good, bro. How are you? Sorry, I'm calling off Marty's phone. I fucking, oh, mine's dead, but I just had to fucking... That's so crazy. I wouldn't have answered if I knew it was you. Oh, yeah. <laughs> fuck. Dude, I got some real shit news. Oh, fuck. You all good? Yeah, like, basically, um, Bosley's dead. Wait, what? Bosley, you know, fucking Marty's dog. Yeah? Yeah, he's like... Yeah, he's dead, and I, I just, I, you know how, like, I said, to, I'd get back to you about this Sunday for Stoner Sunday. Yeah, uh, dude, I don't like. I, had to, I'm just cancelling everything. I, I just, I need to talk to someone right now. If that's okay. Dude, are you joking? Cause fuck, I swear that video was just a joke. Nah, Bosley is dead. You're laughing. Something's not right. Oh, it's so <laughs> funny having him clearly bark in the background. You fucking cunt. Did you, you hear the whoops? fucking cunt. Oh, sorry, dude. I, I, I couldn't <laughs> keep it together. Well, this is, uh, you're on the podcast, by the way, Jaden. We've just been calling out, calling friends and telling them that Bosley's dead. Oh, dude, no, you have to sell it more, eh? You went sad enough. <laughs> yeah, because it put me off having him barking like five meters away. Yeah. Dude, because I, I felt more emotional than you, and you were just like, yeah, no, I felt Bosley dead then. <laughs> oh, sorry, oh, dude. We... I wish I could tell you what I'm doing right now, but fuck, I'm on the podcast, so it's best if I know. Oh, <laughs> yeah, oh. Tell us after, mate. Bloody, 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 eh? Bye, bye, bye. 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 See you Bosley's <laughs> not oh, dead, yeah. everyone. Oh. Alright, that didn't work as well as we had hoped. I think it's it's ruined because Michael has done this to so many people all the time that yeah, yeah. <laughs> just for myself, <laughs> yeah, just for his own amusement, <laughs> just made up really traumatic lies to people, <laughs> and then so no one fucking believes him. So anyway, back to normal prank calls next week, uh, unless we think of a really good lie to tell to one of our friends. I have a burning up here in my skin. I feel like I've wiped chili up there. It still happens. Still recovering. That's <laughs> still sensitive recovering skin. From that. <laughs> put like put your fingers in your nose. No. Yeah. Okay. Oh, okay. Sorry. I've just realized the the movie poster they sent, they actually filled out all the bottom too. So it says Stephen Hawking presents a B more B production in association with Bosley Inc. Filmed at a rat infestation home studios, <laughs> starring Marty Michael Browntown, directed by Arnold Fine, assistant director Rhonda. Producer JJT Woods 460 Till I Die. <laughs> Executive producer Question. Senior editor Requifton. Funded by seven bars of gold in association with several bodily fluids. Artwork by Paranormal Pilots. Very good. That was very detailed. He's, yeah, he's a, an avid podcast listener. Mm. You fucking legend dog cunt. <laughs> and Aiden, man, those chilies really did suck. Yeah, thanks for sending those in, guys. Keep sending your shit in. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. If we made you smile, okay, come on, everybody. Let's go behind this town and best. go for it. We're we the best. We're the best. We're the fucking best. We're the best. I'm not saying it. We, we are, are the best. <laughs> we are the best.